She fine. That's back. She in her own lane. No, she nothing like them other types. She likes. Yeah, yeah. This line so smooth, you could cut a Good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Lagracia Eggstein. Um, so today is Tuesday, the 5th of October. <laughs> and I am giggling because um Vlogtober is Vlogtober is busy, but it's a good busy because I am learning and I believe that I am growing. Um what we get up to today, I don't know. Um, but there will be a video. That's how you guys are seeing this, obviously. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some time with me. See you all soon. Also, don't worry, this is not this is not gonna be another driving vlog because I am not driving today. Yay. Um Oh, an update on my ear. It is doing much, much, much better. But yeah, so it is busy outside. I'm sitting and I'm waiting. Um, and that's why I'm getting so distracted. But yes, let me... See you just now. <laughs> hey y'all, so it is still Tuesday. And... Um, I decided to, I needed to do my hair. Like I wanted to tie it up again, um, but not in the high band that I had earlier on today and yesterday, yeah, yesterday. So I have um, a hairstyle in mind. It is actually recommended by two of you. So thank you so much. So what I essentially did is I, ooh, the noise here. Yeah. What I essentially did is I took the two ideas and I put it together and I kind of made it my own. So I'm not going to talk a lot because I don't want to sit here for long. I don't want to hold you guys here for too long. And also, hold on. Okay, my camera is slightly off. Um, so we're just going to carry on. Let me get started. So I am going to create the top and the bottom and I'm hoping it doesn't matter how it looks I'm gonna tie this up we're creating a similar path to what we did when we braided my hair let me just put this back here then we're gonna try and smooth it out a little I'm just gonna put on some hair food in the path we're not gonna use this path this path is not gonna stand out so this is just to try and smooth it and most of these products I've used on my hair before so I kind of know how they work then I'm gonna take a comb and my mirror is on the side, so that's what you're seeing me look at. Okay, this one is fairly smooth or fairly straight. Okay, so I'm gonna create a path. I created two halves, and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make a path down here. I haven't detangled these sections yet, so instead of creating things. Okay, so let me fix this row and then we're going to move on to doing what I need to do. Okay, so what I've done is I've sectioned off this, so this we're not going to use at all right now. And then I split this big um, piece into two and we're going to start working with this so I don't know what is the quickest or the easiest way of doing of creating this style 
but we are going to to check it's not going to be very thin so i'm gonna make big blocks okay so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna do this section okay so what i was smoothing onto my hair was hair food um and then i'm gonna use some each control gel just to make this smooth okay and then I am going to tie this with a small rubber band and this I have a I have a lot of hair on my head as you can see so when I pull like that it pulls on my it looks like it's pulling on my scalp but it isn't so my hair won't be tight or else I won't be able to sleep with my hair like this so I'm gonna tie it that's it so I'm gonna do the same with the other pieces down here and the other pieces down here and then okay, I'll come. so I have sectioned off my hair what I'm gonna do now is I'm just thinking what's the best way to do this I should have twisted my hair, two strand twisted it, so that it's easier to go into the other section. So I'm gonna link this piece with the second piece in the opposite row, and that's gonna create a, hopefully, <laughs> a crossover effect. This one is then going to go across that way. So let's do the first two. And I'm gonna do the exact same. Go across this way. I take this piece and use it as Let's just make it fun. Just twist that again. I don't know if it looks better like this. I think it will be. Come on, Lagrecia, don't be slow. Last one over that way. Mm -mm. This is not looking right. Mm -mm. This is not looking right. Well, I've loosened all of it again and I've left these two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on each control to smooth this down, put these pieces down, and then yeah, so I'm gonna do it with this side because that rubber band is off already to show you all what I'm gonna do next. Instead of tying this on its own and then adding this piece of hair to it i'm gonna twist this add it as in like together so that that puffiness doesn't occur and i'm hoping that will work so i'm gonna try that method and see how it works and if it works i'm gonna come back to you to show you if it doesn't work i'm also gonna come back to let you know that it doesn't work and then we're gonna deal with it afterwards okay this is where we ended this is how it looks now i'm still not happy with it i still feel like because these plaits are so or these twists are so chunky and long my goodness that they are going to be like full over there as well so let me find something else to do with my hair and then we're gonna do that instead because this is not gonna work i can see today you can see how puffy this starts getting like how it starts unraveling i think this is a better option if your hair is shorter um if it's maybe like half the length of my hair then it might be a better option or um because even if i'm making the squares smaller Making them rectangles is not gonna work. So I have, I've come up with something else which might work a bit better to do like a Benny and Betty with just the section. So tie the section up 
link it to the next square that piece and then link it to that piece over there and then have that go into the bun um, I'm hoping that works so I've tried what I wanted to do but see it's I can't get it on if something doesn't look right yeah so it's still too puffy there's probably something I'm doing wrong I am going to sleep my head down I'm sure I've shown you guys how I do this before but I'm going to show you one section and then I'll come back when it's the front because I don't know if the back is going to be focused while I am doing this so this back section that I had before let's see yeah this back section that I had before just roughly section it again and apply some hair food detangle and then apply gel smooth it down and tie it just to hold on to it And then we're going to add this section and then we're going to work over here. Okay, and then the back section is done. And I'm tired of doing my hair now, so I, it is going to seem a bit rushed. Like, sure. So this piece you kind of need to move down this way what I usually do is I put on a second band over here so that I don't have to loosen the top one all the time so I've smoothed down my hair I have not um, thingied it yet I haven't put on a scarf yet um, that's what it looks like right now over here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in a tight bun to protect the edges and we're gonna put another hair band over there and then I'm not sure how I am going to put the hair on so hold on let me figure that out <laughs> before I take three hours again um, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys I have this kinky hair texture which is very similar to my own texture the only thing is, is that the color is a bit different but anyway I'm gonna just attach it here then we're gonna see I've never done this before Brazilian blondie. I used the 12 inch bundle and I just wrapped that around my head as you could have seen. So I am going to cut these little pieces. I'm gonna just cut them a bit so that they look a little bit more flowy and then just tuck that in a bit better, put on my scarf and then I'm going to be done. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience and let me know what you think. <laughs> Bye.